Hello, this is Survival Kyber, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Gerber Spine. It's a full tang knife. This one is actually my regular one that I normally carry when I'm out in the field. And in such, it's dirty. You can see the dirt on it. And there's some of the lanyard hole. So it's got a full size, nice lanyard hole. You can put a couple of pieces of paracord in there if you want, or even something thicker. It's got this nice uh, textured Look at this load here. There we go. This uh, texture grip, which is actually kind of cool. It's got diamonds and stripes and dots on it, which is actually gives a really good amount of grip. It's nice. So it's not super grippy, so your, your hands aren't going to wear out on it. You're not going to get uh, blisters from it. But it's actually quite nice. And it's rubberized. Um, so you got the one, uh, one screw there, and then the rest of this is pressed on on both sides. Um, so, regular stone washed blade, you got the Gerber symbol up there, you can see all the dirt on it. Uh, I use this for like batoning, I use this for actually pulling all sorts of stuff out of the ground. It's nice, it's got some numbers on the back here. I don't know if you can see them, I don't know if I can see them either. Looks like it's 8970319A, I'm not sure if that's like a production number or a model number. This is known specifically as the spine. It's a Gerber's budget fixed blade knife. They do make a smaller version of this, which is you know, take a couple of fingers off, called the vertebrae. It's the only one I could find on Amazon. I could not find this on Amazon, so I cannot link to the Amazon page on that. I did find it on uh, Blade HQ, and I will leave the link for Blade HQ and for Gerber Gear uh, for their main web page as well. So this is 8.40 inches long. Blade length is three and a uh, three and three quarter inch long. Blade width is about an inch. Blade thickness is 0 0.13. Um, it doesn't have much on jimping. This is actually part of the lock on both sides for the sheath. So you go really big clip on the on the back. Really big clip, so it'll work on a belt, it'll work on your pants pockets, it'll work on cargo pants, it'll work on... Um, I normally keep this on a backpack that has molly, so it's a pretty big clip on the back. has the typical hole in the front for drainage. Okay, it's got this little lock on it, so it locks onto the blade so it doesn't simply just come off. And of course the Gerber logo on it, and it's a... Uh, uh, it's like a greenish tan color. Um, how I see colors is a little off, so you know it is what that is. But it's a nice positive, uh, positive lock, and it's quite strong unless you push up on that. And that is that is it. That is the Gerber Spine uh, Drop Point Stone Wash Blade. Obviously, edge type is plain, and it's their budget knife. And you know, I do a lot of budget knives because I don't. You know, if I'm bringing a $500 knife out into the woods and I break it or lose it, um, that pisses me off. But if I lose a $20 knife or a $30 knife, I'm okay with that. So I keep a lot of these uh, budget blades on my gear, just in case, as a backup. And that's it. It's a beautiful blade. Good in the hands. So again, I'll leave, it a, leave a couple links in the description for... Gerbergear.com and for Blade HQ, and maybe I'll link the Amazon page for the vertebrae, which is the short version of this. Uh, yeah, so the, the vertebrae is the short one, it's about two inches shorter. Um, and that's it. So that's the Gerber Spine. Uh, please, if you like this or anything else I've done, please hit the subscribe button down there. Uh, if you can like it, any comments or questions, leave them in the, in the section below, and I will get to them as soon as I can. Uh, I answer all questions that I can. If I, it's something I don't know, then I'll tell you I don't know it, because, you know, I'd rather be honest than anything else. So that's it. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.